Hi there. I'm Atul Manerraj from IIT Kanpur. As we all know, today flying has become one of the easiest and the safest methods of flying, and various private airlines have been established. But the real question is, are you flying smart? In order to answer this, let's review Southwest Airlines. The company was founded by Rolling Kin and Herb Kelleher and is currently under the leadership of Gary Kelly. Southwest Airlines was in one of the deep pocketed airlines when it started. The company relied on outrageous antiques to generate word of mouth and new businesses. Flight attendants in red orange hot pants served peanuts and drinks which they called love bites and love potions. Throughout all of its communication efforts, Southwest makes sure that its friendly personality is conveyed. This light-hearted attitude carries over to the entertaining onboard announcements, crews that burst into songs at their terminals, and several personalized aircrafts. Southwest has been the only airline to report profits every quarter since September 11, 2001, and one of the few with no layoffs amid a travel slump created by the slow economy and the threat of terrorism. Let's take a peek into their business model. We know that Southwest has been successful in its endeavors. To achieve this, it has taken various steps. Let's look at a few of them. Southwest shuttles more passengers per plane than any other airline. This is almost 12 hours each day. Many of its long-term contracts allows the airline to purchase fuel at $51 per barrel, a significant saving especially during the oil shocks of the 2000s that drove oil past $100 per barrel. In the earlier years, it turned planes around in less than 10 minutes. Today, its turnaround averages 20 to 30 minutes, still the best in the industry. Instead of assigning seats, passengers are assigned to one of the groups A, B or C and a number when they check in. The number refers to where they stand in the line at the gate. Group A boards first and once on board, passengers may sit anywhere they like. The company believes that it can bring fares down by one third to one half whenever it enters new markets. Operating Boeing 737 for all of its flights simplifies the training processes for pilot, flight attendants and mechanics and management can substitute aircraft, reschedule flight crews or transfer mechanics very quickly. Southwest Airlines also carries less water for bathrooms and has replaced its seat with lighter models. Here is an advertisement by Southwest Airlines with a catchy tagline Heart sets us apart. Despite its reputation for low fares and no frilled services, Southwest wins the hearts of all customers throughout. Southwest has mastered the low price model and has the financial results to prove it. So we come to wonder why don't the other airlines copy Southwest's model? There are two ways at looking at this question. Let's highlight some points to understand the first way. By understanding these points, we come to the realization that Southwest Airlines is deep pocketed enough to take these risks, which the other airlines may not be able to make. The second way of looking at it is by understanding that most airlines do not want to adopt the Southwest model because it is not of profit to them. Certain points have been highlighted in the slide to prove this. 
By adopting these policies, Southwest faces a lot of risks. The question here is, can it continue on its old business model when tough economic times hit? Although the hot pants are gone, the spirit remains at the heart of Southwest. The red hearts can be found across the country and these symbols embody the Southwest spirits of the employees. Let's briefly take a look at what we've understood so far. We studied about the business model that Southwest Airlines follows. We understood how it took steps to reduce the fare and the ticket prices for the customers. It also released various posters as a form of advertisement. We saw that Southwest Airlines has a unique model that is hard to copy. And in the near future, Southwest needs to review its options during an economic crisis. So that is all folks. This is Atulya Manarad signing off. Thank you.